I'm taking part B. I have spoken on the human side. Let me now tell you, just give you some of the things that God has been telling me all this while about my kid. Not giving you all. Some. Enough for you to know the state of this young man before God. Now, this is what God has been telling me. In January 9, the very period God was giving this brother revelation in Ebony, the Lord gave me prophecy. It's not revelation, not dream. Prophetic utterance from Jesus. Directly, I was writing. It goes, my son, let nothing distract you. The end is at hand. Those who want to leave the movement can go. Go with those who are still wishing. I mean, go with those who are wishing to move on with you. You were speaking of Michael Sambo this morning. He has joined the multitude. He is offended now. Instead of asking me to reveal himself to him. Some who were with Apostle Paul forsook him, but he did not allow that to bother him, but went on doing his work. For me, in the same way, do not bother. My Kisambo is now working for his stomach. He is angry and envious. Leave him alone to do what he likes. I have decided to cause him to fade away. The same spirit that works on those evil pastors is working in my Kesambo now. He is under the deception of Satan. He is thinking that I am the one dealing with him. My Kesambo is manifesting a wrong attitude toward you, my son. He feels you have taken his bed right, th that which is his. The good counsel, rebuke, that you are giving him is misunderstood for hatred. His heart is not clean toward you, my son. Satan comforts him and speaks to assure him, God cannot support evil. God cannot support darkness. God cannot support conspirators. This is the voice of God. January 9, 2015. Okay. Is that okay? And then... There was also a revelation that was given. I didn't tell you this, but it's, it's good. I can let you know a few things so that you can see that is, this movement is not in the hand of man. It's in the hand of God. On 10th February 2015, even before anything came out, I talked with Michael Sambo 1st February 2015, nine days after this revelation came. In my sleep shortly as we were praying, Jesus said, my son, my son was asking in a concerned way, why the people are not responding to God and to his word, even in Horemoth. The Lord took me to Satan's heart room and showed me the hearts of many ministers. He showed me the heart of Moses Semeca. It was kept in a dark place. He showed me the heart of so 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 and so in a very also kept in a very dark place. Is one of the coordinators who left after embezzling money. And I saw the heart of Mike Sambo in a in a Semovita leather bag. Satan said he had pursued after it for a long time. 
and had newly gotten it, he said he would take it to the special place for, for, to walk on it. He would walk on this heart until there would be great fight between him and Pastor Rica. This is February 2015. February 10. The Lord told me Satan got the hearts of five coordinators in Horemon. One is dead, being Moses Semika. The next is, and so on. This, and uh, they, 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 I should tell the coordinator to be, to be one, that the members of the church bring the hearts of their leaders. So you should be very careful. To Satan, you must be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. So that you don't get this, this spiritual battle going on. You think it is a joke. Now. This was February. Then. In. It was in me. But before that. In April. We were praying on my Kisambo. During this rebellion issue and the Lord gave this message I want you to know that your own life is under account so be very careful the way you behave before the Lord he said this movement is his own you don't know you may not understand what it means don't play here as you play in other places God's message when praying for Michael Sambo on the 14th of April 2015. His rebellion came to light on the second. This is 12 days after. This is what the Lord says. While praying for Michael Sambo, the Lord said, Tell my son, don't mind Michael Sambo. I am the one purging the movement. Be peaceful. Don't bother about him. He is finding a way to make a quarrel with you. All he has gathered will be a big shame and disgrace. I will put my word in your mouth and protect you. He is the one affecting other coordinators to make them troublesome. I am the one removing him. You have coordinators with you that are better than him. He is responsible for the behavior of some members and leaders. He makes them doubt you. Do nothing to please him or any man. Your heart is pure and clean. You know this. Don't mind to defend yourself. I have the final say. Don't mind what people will say. I have said I will take you to another level. Be bold to rebuke whosoever. What Mike is doing now, I have labored on him. And he chose to be this way. God has labored on Mike before this time. But Mike has chosen this way. He chose to be this way. Remember, all dry leaves will fall down with shaking. And I am the one shaking the tree. This is a distraction to you. Face the walk and move forward. What have you done against Clyre? What did you do against Hansen? But they are accusing you. Don't bother about these distractions of attention. Mike has gone. Leave him alone. He has made himself so cheap to Satan for money. Yes. Treat him as someone you don't bother about. All those he has made to, despise, made to despise you in this ministry shall know his nakedness. He is doing this to make you know that he is, some, he is important. Treat him as unimportant. My son, I am the true judge. And I know that your hands are clean towards these children that I have given you. Don't bother about them. What you should bother about is me and my work. 
the time you are taking to bother about these children is the time you should be studying my word and seeking my face in prayer this is the word of god i'm not going on god's side now i didn't tell you this if i go on revelation revelation eh, anytime eh, revelation maybe they form they formed it they framed it a dark mind can go to that point by going to that point then you don't belong here which means all we're doing here is a lie there's no god in heaven and on earth So, that's what we need to understand what God is saying. Okay? Amen? But even before this time, the Lord has spoken on this issue too. We need to understand that the Lord has not left us alone. He is letting us to know the mind of God. He is telling us. We do as he tells us now. On the 18th of May 2015. 18th of May. This is what the Lord said. He talked to me about some coordinators. But this is what he talked about. Bimba and Mike Sambo. Pastor Bimba and Mike Sambo are in another world. They are as those living in another country. They are in the hands of Satan. Just be praying for them. If you keep following hard after them, to convert them, to restore them, you will lose your salvation. Satan has gone far with them. All you need is pray for them. Only I, only me can convert them. My Kesambo wants to live, but he has not gotten someone strong to, to empower and boost him for, for that. Right in that me. Who oh, wanted to live? Oh, he's waiting for someone to push him to stand by him this the lord had revealed but what about the one i told you recently after his discipline have you forgotten what the lord said after the discipline of michael sambo i told you the message that the lord asked me to read for you. I meant to tell you. And I read it for you. I read it for you. After the discipline. Of Mike Sambo. He said. I am going to reveal. That's, the message came. 14th October. 2015. I am going to reveal and expose Sambo to the world. Everyone will be surprised and shall honor you and what you say. I am going to promote you, my son, even before your enemies. I will close their mouth against you. You have really shown me that you, ha that you, love, that you have me in your heart always by the way you walk to please me which others don't do i will honor you and remember you in my heart forever if you keep on in my ways don't bother to defend yourself i will defend you tell the leaders in more that i the lord control everything going on in my movement even your leader, Pastor Paul Rica, I control his decisions and plans. The things he does, which some judge as a mistake, and others judge as wisdom, are seen by me as perfect because I direct them. That is what I do to every human being that is holy and righteous 
and seek my face. Tell them I am the one that allowed my Kesambo's matter to go this way. And no man can stop it. Anyone that walks in the flesh, I remove. Until they recover themselves. Only then will I restore them. This is the way some of you are still working. Handling my work and my resources in the flesh. You are aware that I, the Lord, have been sending warning to you. Demanding your repentance. But many of you are unwilling to change. Those who are reluctant to change are hurting themselves. You can be smart in your deceitful evil heart toward your leader or those under you. But you cannot be smarter than me or play smartness before me. Many of you have made up your mind in my movement to achieve personal wealth, fame, and publicity. Some of you have, some of you have put me aside and have gone to rich men for gains. Many are walking in fear of men, in fear of man, and compromise. I am not. I am not considered. This will not profit you as it did not profit Moses Semeca. I have been patient with many of you because of your bad attitudes in my vineyard. I hear your backbiting against my servant and his wife and against other coordinators and others. My sambo has gone back today to my pain. Many of you contributed to this by putting pride in him through human worship and undue honor, giving him evil counsel, fearing to tell him the truth, and supporting his evil, his evil, and supporting his evil and self plans. As for Sambo, he will regret it for allowing himself to be deceived by man and Satan to bring confusion among my children, which I, the Lord, suffered to gather to myself. This is another warning to you leaders that are in my act, in my movement. Change your attitudes and bad manners manifested in my work. Come to unity and support others and your leader to work for me. There is no more time. I chose Pastor Paul Rica to be your leader. Support him and work with him. To accomplish my work quickly. Pray for unity, oneness, love and cooperation among yourselves. Don't doubt my movement for what the devil is doing now against it. Yes, it shall be shaking, but it will not fall. I allow it to be thus shaking to test the faith of my children. To remove the unfaithful ones. And to cleanse the movement from pollutions or defilements. I am the owner of Horemor. I beseech you to walk in the, in the fear of the Lord. In all your dealings in the movement. I see and hear everything going on. I judge and reward the good and the bad done by everyone in the movement. In this movement, don't see yourself working for man. But for me, your Lord. In the way you will in this way you will take care of your life, your tongue, thoughts, your body, and actions. There are some among you that have corrupted themselves and are defiled through ungodly ways and actions before coming to this coordinators conference. Confess your foul thoughts. Hard speeches against your leader and others. Seek forgiveness before leaving this place. I, the Lord, will forgive, will forgive you. Pray for Michael Thomas Sambo that my, that my father's hand of judgment will be lighter. And that he may deal mercifully with him 
for bringing confusion among my people in my movement. Please, all of you should be focused, concentrated on my work and do not allow any destruction. The time is short. Satan is raising all these problems to distract you. Those who want to leave the movement are free to go, but they shall regret it. For those who have chosen to remain, I will uphold them and keep them. I will bring in more of my children to the movement. Hear me now, coordinators in my movement. If you return back to your own life of selfish ambition and sins, I will come to you quickly and remove you. Nothing you have selfishly gathered here in honor, in honor, name, material things will benefit you. Be faithful and just in all you are doing for me as others are and I will reward you. I will certainly pay you on earth and in heaven for your commitment and faithfulness. Love one another. Love your leader, Pastor Paul Rica. Don't allow the devil to use you to bring disunity among yourselves. Those under you and uh, among yourselves and those under you. Take back your prayer life. Many of you have lost your prayer life. If you want to win over temptations and overcome the devil, then take back your prayer life. More grace to you all. More blessings and peace. Be one as we here are one. I and my father are one. Receive power, wisdom, anointing, and blessings for my work in the movement. Don't forget, Satan is planning for your soul and that of your brother. Don't allow it. Use love, faith, unity, and prayer for your shield. Care for one another. Help one another. Correct one another in love. Peace, I live with you. I am your Lord Emmanuel, Jesus Christ. Let's rise up and worship him. Worship him. Here you have the whole world. You have the whole world. You've got the whole world. Father, you've got the whole white world. You've got holy more. I say you've got holiness movement in your hand. You've got the whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father. Lord of Horemo, ah, I say, I say, you got the whole world. You 
you've got holiness movement. I say you've got holy more in your hand. You've got the whole world. Amen. Jesus, you've got holy more. You are the captain and the founder. I say Jesus got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world in your go before him and worship him. Go before him and thank him. Thank him. Worship him. Glorify his name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for organizing this moment and speaking dust to your children. Worship you, divine. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It is done. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Jesus. May the spirit of obedience be with us. May the spirit of concentration, consecration be with us. Thank you, Lord. Glory, Lord. Sink your word into our heart. Quicken our understanding that we may understand you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Raise up your hand and worship him. Jesus, our Lord, our Savior. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. Savior. Jesus, I will.